many a times couples would come to us and we advise them the treatment of IVF but there are a lot of doubts that the couples would have regarding IVF before undergoing it and this because of the doubts because they are not able to clear them with any of the doctors they look around for opinions and multiple opinions get confused and waste a lot of time in deciding upon the IVF Pregnancies because of IVF are more complicated, requires a lot of bed rest, requires a lot of more medication as compared to naturally conceived pregnancies and also regard, concerns regarding the health of the babies keep them away from deciding for IVF. Here and I would like to point out that the causes of infertility in such couples are probably age related, are related to hormones because of which these couples anyways whether they conceive naturally or they conceive by any infertility treatment are at high risk of developing complications in pregnancy in couples who undergo ivf per se exclusively are not at high risk of complication because of ivf per se they are at high risk because of their own medical conditions and the age factors hence it is seen that women of advanced age are more likely to develop high bp diabetes and problems of placentation like placenta previa, placental abruption and decreased flow to the baby leading to fetal growth retardation that is small for gestation baby. All these complications are of the equal frequency in IVF and in natural pregnancy when it happens at a later age of a female. Regarding the genetic risk to the baby, age predisposes the maximum genetic risk to the baby. So if a woman conceives after the age of 35, whether naturally or by IVF, the baby is at high risk of developing genetic abnormalities. But herein, because in IVF, we harvest numerous eggs and fuse them with the sperms to form the zygotes, we still have a chance of selecting better embryos either by means of PGS, that is genetic screening, to choose the most genetically normal baby before placing them inside the uterus or inside the womb.